Hey everyone, Christopher Ludwig here at Finnish Vehicle Logistics North America here in Huntington Beach. I'm here with Steven Center, Chief Operating Officer of Kia Americas, a role you started just January this year. Very pleased to have you with us. Uh, Steve, the industry is going through such an interesting time. We have pipeline ordering, vehicle supply is low, orders are strong. What impact is this having on your, on your business and how are you needing to adjust to adapt? Well, it, uh, it basically blew up all the rules. So we're in improvised mode. Um, you used to uh, schedule your production four or five months out. They'd arrive, you've allocated them, you schedule the distribution. Um, now you don't know what you're going to get sometimes for four or five weeks out. There are regulatory issues that impact that also because you have different emission types that go to different parts of the country. So um, everyone is um, uh, in improvised mode and uh, day to day. Day to day, absolutely. And is it, is it changing the way you communicate with your dealers, uh, logistics providers, for example, working with Glovis, and even, even end customers? Yeah, absolutely. Um, speaking about the end customer first, uh, typically you would buy a car from a dealer that had a great inventory and you could take it home that day. Now it's months out in many cases and uh, people make commitments, they want information about when the vehicle is going to arrive. The whole industry isn't really set up for that. Everyone says, well, FedEx can show you where a package is, where's the car? Well, it's more complicated than that. And um, that's the biggest challenge. And the dealers are put in the middle. They're not getting the information they need. So it's a big challenge. Absolutely, and I think in this industry, exactly as you said, we've always talked about the Amazon effect, wanting to be able to track it. Uh, but it's almost been seen as a nice to have up to now. It seems like it's becoming a must have. Absolutely, the expectation of the customer is, I mean, think about what Uber did for taxi cabs, right? It always used to be, where's my, where's my ride? Well, now you can see where they are and how far away they are. So the uh, expectation of the consumer is more information. And uh, the industry just isn't set up for that. Now you're the CEO, so you're overseeing Kia's um, sales distribution operations, of which vehicle logistics is a part. How much of a focus is it now for you, this segment of the business? It's, it, it used to be something that just happened. You didn't worry about it. You heard about a problem every now and then. Now it's all consuming. And the main reason is it's our revenue. Because we don't typically collect for the car until it's delivered to the dealer. So now it's real personal. That's the money in the bank. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, when we look at that picture and that, that changing customer experience, what else do you see needing to change to, to really improve the visibility for the customer and that overall experience when they come out of the dealership? Um, well, the, the sales experience has always been a challenge. Um, you have, in Kia's case, 750 different dealers, 750 different processes. It's always been a challenge for this industry to try to standardize that because with a more standardized experience, the brand experience improves. So that's one of the challenges. But uh, the biggest one is uh, opening up information and making it possible for different entities along the path to share that information. Let, let's finish looking to uh, a trend around, or potential trend around online sales, future business models, distribution models. Um, how do you see this reshaping Kia's sales and distribution operations in the coming years? Um, well, I, if you look at it this way, um, many automakers have a misguided idea that they want to sell cars directly to consumers. And they say, Tesla does that. Well, Tesla really doesn't do that. They just own all their dealerships. So there are a lot of fallacies out there. Um, but with the electrification of the product, uh, a lot of automakers are saying, well, we want to sell direct. Um, you don't run your 750 independent dealers as a chain. And I said before, they all have their own business processes. So um, it's going to be a big challenge going forward. The expectation of the customers is moving us forward. The dealers are holding their space. So it's going to be a pretty fascinating tug of war. And a really interesting journey to cover. Stephen, we're really excited to have you. Stephen will be, is talking with us on stage at Finnish Vehicle Logistics North America. Look out for more highlights of that, talking about future business models, changing vehicle logistics. Such a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks again, Steve. My pleasure. Thank you.